Sergeant Andy Melbourne is six foot six, 150 kilograms, a former national judo champion. One, two, three. And he loves his job. <laughs> he trains military aviation protection officers, or MAPOs, who are effectively police on planes. They protect passengers aboard flights on dangerous taskings, such as the recent evacuations from Afghanistan. They must learn to deal with everything, from disruptive behavior to hijackings, bombs and knife attacks. We try to expose them to as many real-world situations as possible, always keep them guessing. It's not just all about the physicality. They still have their police hat on at the end of the day. They still need to justify all their actions. So it isn't just about trying to take my head off, for example. They need to make sure if they do is legal and justified. It can get pretty intense, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you do feel a couple of the shots they put in. Uh, obviously, we train them very well before we get to this stage. Our objective is to give them as much kinetic realism as possible when we do these injects and scenarios. You're constantly on edge, um, especially if Andy's on there. You, you're just you're always anticipating something's going to happen. Um, and then when it doesn't, you're still suspicious of the fact that nothing has happened. The majority of MAPO tasks that you are on, nothing will actually happen. It's a preparing for the worst, but also having the ability to think, actually, this person needs my help rather than I need to deal with this person, if that makes sense. Although most flights will be entirely uneventful, MAPOs must train for the most unexpected scenarios to ensure they're ready for everything and anything. He doesn't know it yet, but Josh is to be the focus of the next storyline. Yes, this is quite a sinister situation, so one of our actors will show affection towards a member of the MAPO team, and this, these advances will be um, rejected completely by the MAPO team member. I don't want to be too funny. Are you single? Let me be with you, Josh, please. As Josh politely declines his advances, the passenger becomes enraged and things turn violent. Put the knife down, all right? We have a, a very large whiteboard on our wall in our office. It's called the idea board. And every day, anyone can come in and go, I've got an idea for the scenario. Yeah, quite a unique situation. Sorry, Josh, mate. <laughs> very creative, but all, all within reality. It's not, none of it's that far-fetched. In fact, none of it's far-fetched. It, it could all happen at any, any time on any flight. The spurned passion behind them, but the drama's not over yet. After smoke drills on board their mock aircraft, next, the MAPOs must deal with a bomb on board. We hide a device on board the aircraft. It's a fake device, of course. Once they find it, they have to actually build a safe area in the aircraft where we've indicated it is the area of least resistance if an explosion goes off on board of the, an aircraft. The aircraft can still fly, and it can still land if they do it correctly. It's the final day of the course. It's been good. It's been challenging, considering the size of me and the size of Andy Melbourne. Quite daunting when you're facing somebody who is a similar size to the mountain off Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, he's pretty much triple my body weight. Time for a lesson from the man himself in how to protect yourself if someone triple your size is trying to stab you. As I'm coming over the top, you're going to use your right arm to target that area there, OK? You've got a nice strong base and you'll have a line going from your wrist all the way through your body down to your other leg, OK? I just want you to, that's it, put some pressure in. I'm going to lean into you now completely and you're able to hold me off, aren't you? Even when that goes off. <laughs> Would you like to see the takedown? Yes, yeah, of I think. So knife is coming in, get your stance, up, switch your feet, move your body out. There you go, make your snake. Go up to your own wrist. There you go. At the same time, pull down on my wrist and raise up your elbow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and with a bit more practice. That's it. <laughs> it's so satisfying bringing you down, Andy. <laughs> you obviously enjoy your job. Very much so, yes. What is it you love about it? It's personal pride of mine. I come from quite a physical background. So I'm able to impart some of that wisdom onto these students for me is just so rewarding. And a bright career in acting ahead of you. Uh, you know, just maybe a little bit, and dram. <laughs> Hannah King, Forces News, at RAF Honington. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.